In the following tutorial, we learn how to create navigation meshes. Navigation meshes are used to create pastures for animals. Each navigation mesh simulates a three-dimensional area inside which animals can graze freely. In other words, it defines a particular group of animals' world within a particular pasture. It's worth noting that we can only create one pasture per species of animal. In order to create navigation meshes in the Giants Editor, they first need to be enabled by going to View, Show, Navigation Meshes. As we can see here, the navigation mesh for chickens is shown in blue. This mesh defines the area of the map in which the animals are allowed to move. When creating new maps, new navigation meshes must also be created. Next, we will expand the chicken's pasture slightly and add a new object to the pasture. First, we need to go into the Terrain Info Layer Paint mode to make the changes to the Terrain's Info Layer. Click on the corresponding icon in the menu bar and then open the Terrain Editing window. In the Terrain Editing window, we select Channel 2 of the Info Layer. The white squares determine the geometry of the pasture. Now we can paint in our adjustments to the terrain. In the standard map, channel 0 corresponds to cows, channel 1 for sheep and channel 2 for chickens. Before we can go any further, we'll want to delete some of the fence as it no longer matches the enlarged pasture. Now we'll duplicate a tree and position it in the pasture so as to better illustrate the following steps. For other objects to be taken into account when generating the navigation meshes, we need to set the NAV mesh mask properly. To do this, we select our new object and open the Attributes window. From there, we select the file folder, Shape, and click on Build NAV mesh mask. We then set this as with the info layer channel to 2 by ticking the 2. For the sheep pasture, this would be a 1, and for the cows, a 0. To create our new custom navigation mesh, we now select the old one in the scene graph selection window. These navigation meshes aren't selectable in the viewport. From the menu, we can now choose Create Navigation Mesh. This then opens the Build Navigation Mesh window. We still have to set the Shape Build Mask and Culling Info Layer to Channel 2. Furthermore, we also have to set the species radius, as this is used to keep the animals at a sufficient distance from the edge of the enclosure. For the cow pasture we use 1.2, for the sheep pasture we should use 0.7, and the navigation mesh for the chickens is set to 0.15. Now we click Recreate and our new custom navigation mesh will be calculated.